Hi everyone, magandang tanghali po sa inyong lahat and today we are going to uh, talk about God's love and compassion for our midday and I, I, I believe no, lahat tayo dito uh, excited na naman tayo to pray uh, before we eat our lunch or yung iba naman sa atin uh, maaga nakapag-lunch no? and uh, a very quick encouragement for everyone and as we uh, talk about God's love and compassion uh, in the verse that uh, uh, Jeremiah wrote And uh, we know uh, Jeremiah was uh, uh, came from a priestly family, and uh, God uh, called him to be the prophet uh, to the nation of Judah. Remember that time the Israel was uh, divided into two kingdoms. It's uh, Israel and uh, Judah. And uh, again, Jeremiah became a prophet to the nation of or the kingdom of Judah. And uh, during that time, people of God were turned away from uh, him. Jeremiah as a, as a prophet his uh, the message of God uh, through him was uh, to for the people to turn back to God and to to know that his love and his faithfulness never ends so yun yung ano mensahe ni ni, ni God no at uh, sa kanyang mga tao and uh, God used also Babylonian as an instrument uh, to bring uh, his judgment Uh, to his people for them to turn back to him and uh, that is why in spite of that uh, rejection na na raranasan ni uh, Jeremiah he continue continued on bringing the word of God his love and compassion to the future restoration of the nation or even the people of God and we all know that the, that restoration it never happened during their lifetime especially that people nung time na yon but that it uh, the restoration came during the time of Jesus Christ and it's never about the restoration that we have seen in the external but the restoration of our soul or even the restoration of our relationship with God through Jesus Christ his death and resurrection And, but it says in Jeremiah 31 verse 3, as we look at God's love and His faithfulness, His compassion, His, uh, His endearing uh, love for us, it says in Jeremiah 31 verse 3, The Lord appeared to him from far away. I have loved you with an everlasting love. Therefore, I have continued my faithfulness to you. Two things that I want to highlight. And to share to you today, first is God's everlasting love. It says there, I have loved you. Minahal ko na kayo noon paman, mahal ko na kayo noon paman with an everlasting love. God's everlasting love. You know what? Uh, that time uh, Jeremiah was uh, in prison, but he continued on telling to the people that God loves them so much. And maybe for some of them, they question already, God, if uh, God loves us, why we are uh, experiencing these things? Why we are uh, under this uh, rulership of the Babylonian Empire? Why we are experiencing this? And maybe sometimes, even us right now, maybe you, you've already questioned, God, why we have to experience this pandemic that all over the world, are experiencing this right now but I want you to know I have loved you with an everlasting love God loves you with an everlasting love no matter what happened we cannot deny the fact that God loves us first God loves you we can endure this COVID-19 this pandemic because God loves us so much and not only that second thing that i want to share to you i have continued my faithfulness to you god's faithfulness god's faithfulness will continue on in our lives no matter what happened in us kung hindi man natin nakikita that god is working his faithfulness will continue on that he is working in our lives I, I hope and I pray that we continue on to see that in our lives. And for them back then, 
the promise of God is the Messiah, the King, who will uh, save them from that uh, slavery uh, to that nations na nag-conquer sa kanila. But, uh, but Jesus came. Who is the King? Who is the Messiah? Who is the Savior? And right now, that's the King, that's the Lord Jesus, the Christ that we are worshiping, that we are serving. And through Him, we would see that that everlasting love of God in our lives, that faithful, the faithfulness of God in our lives. And let us continue. Let us continue to feel that in our hearts every day sa buhay natin. Ano man yung pinagdadaanan natin, ano man yung sinasabi ng mundo na ito, maganda man o hindi maganda, maraming hindi maganda, But know that God loves us so much that He will be faithful in us to the ends of the world. And let us continue to share that also to other people. Let us continue to pray for them. Let us continue to, uh, to show to them that God loves them. Kailangan maramdaman nila na mahal na mahal sila ng Diyos. na kung tayo ay minahal ng Panginoon, gayon din ang pagmamahal ng Diyos sa kanila. And let us continue to show to them that He is faithful. He is faithful. Yes, after this pandemic, even right now, we experience economic or uh, alam mo yun, yung pagbagsak na ekonomiya ng bansa natin at even ng buong mundo. We are all experiencing this. Pero ang totoo niyan, mahal tayo ng Diyos. He will, be, he will continue to be faithful in us. Kaya natin to, malalampasan natin ang lahat. Magtiwala lang tayo sa Panginoon, sa Kanyang pagmamahal sa atin. Why don't we pray right now? And then I will uh, lead you into our prayer uh, point. No? Isa lang yung pagpe-pray natin. And uh, let us uh, continue to believe God that many people would come to know and experience His love and compassion, His faithfulness in their lives. Let us pray. Father, thank you for what you are doing in us and through us. Indeed, Lord, yes, it may seem like we cannot see that you are working. But indeed, You are working, God. You are working in our lives. You are faithful, Lord God. You are faithful to show your love and compassion in us, Lord. By, by giving your Son, your one and only Son, Jesus Christ, to die on the cross. And after three days, rose again. So that we will be restored in you, God. That the promise you have, Lord, in the past, Is the same promise that you have right now in us, Lord. You will continue to restore us, Lord God, our lives, Lord. Thank you, God, for your love in us. And we will continue to experience that, Lord God. We will continue, Lord God, to believe in that, Lord God. Lord, we will not hold back, Lord God. We will not those people who turn away from you, but we will continue, Lord, to turn our eyes on you, who is the perfecter of our faith. And we will continue to look to Jesus as what he said in, in John 14:6 that I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through me. Jesus, we continue to look to you. We continue to look to you and see the love of God in our lives. Thank you, Jesus, for what you have done. Continue to protect us, Lord. Continue to uh, to love us so much and be faithful to us. And Lord, we will not hold back, Lord God. But we will continue on worshiping you, believing in you, look to you, God. 
Lord, our lives is in you alone. No one, Lord God, can separate us from the love of God. It is you that we love so much as you have loved us, Lord God, in the first place. Thank you, Lord, for everything. May you continue to bless us, each one of us. And may you continue to use us also, God, to, con to spread your love to others. Thank you, Lord. Bless your people. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. And right now, here's what we are going to do. We will pray that the Lord of the harvest, we know that God is the Lord of the harvest, and uh, to give uh, God's people, and that is us, a seal to continue to share, to spread the love of God to other people. May that uh, the love and compassion of God will continue on to be experienced by the people around us, those who are in need and afflicted. Why don't we pray right now? And let us also pray for the unity of the body of Christ, the church, that uh, we will uh, all together show the love of God to others. I will give you time to pray. Uh, maybe uh, just uh, pray uh, silently in your heart or maybe in your mind. Pray to God. You know, God would, uh, uh, God really uh, listen to us. He knows already what you are going to pray. But God gives us this opportunity for us to utter or to say to Him our prayers, our uh, petition to Him. Let us pray. I will give you time to pray. Uh, Lord, thank you, God, even for uh, us, Lord, that we first experience your love and compassion in our lives, Lord. May you continue to use each one of us to continue to share that good news, that love to other people, Lord. May you continue, Lord God, to use, Lord, uh, whatever we have right now, Lord, to show the love to them, Lord God. Maybe uh, we will ask, Lord God, uh, those our yung mga mahal namin sa buhay, Lord, yung mga relatives namin, friends namin, maybe we would uh, ask them, Lord God, for prayers, Lord, and uh, for them to, to feel, Lord God, your love, Lord. Lord, may uh, this message, Lord God, of restoration that we, we, we experience, Lord God, first, na marandaman din nila, maranasan din nila, God. Lord, Unified us, Lord God. Lord, magkaisa kami. Lahat ng mga naniniwala, nag, uh, uh, nagpa-follow sa inyo, God. To continue on the mission that you have entrusted to us to bring this good news, this love, Lord, to other people. Thank you, Lord. Use us, Lord. We pray, God, that those who are in need, Lord, may you continue, Lord God, to provide for them. Not only the, the food, Lord, that they need, but also, Lord, the salvation that they need, Lord, right now, God. Lord, I pray, God, we declare that you are the Lord of the harvest. You are the Lord of the harvest who will bring the love, the good news to all the people in this world. It is our privilege of to be used by you. We will continue to honor you and bless you and magnify your name from glory to glory. Thank you, Lord. This we ask you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Thank you, everyone, for joining us in this midday prayer. God bless everyone.